Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Pokemon Sword and Shield Gym Leader Challenge. Once again, I am the Electric Gym Leader. I've said that before in a previous video, and we're going to hop right into this right now. So we're playing against <laughs> Sur Surand Dadstorm. The is this supposed to be a play on Darude Sandstorm? Uh, but he his name in game is Colin. And we're hopping right in this. I made a little bit of a change to my team. So this was the original team uh, with Saturday. But then I made this team, which I just replaced uh, Rotom Mo with Rotom Heat. Because uh, in a lot of my practices, as I was tr uh, practicing for this challenge, I ran into a lot of Steel-type Pokemon, which I did not have an answer to. So I had to bring in the Heat, you know, I had to bring in Rotom Heat, aka Microwave. And we're going to hop right into this. I'm actually pretty excited about this. So this is the squad. This is his squad he's bringing. Uh, I'm more likely going to uh, start with um, Pinkurchin no matter what, but I just want to see his team. Let's see, Barrascuta. He's got an SQ, Hatterene, Toxtricity, Ditto, and Doug Trio. So, what I want to do is keep the Pikachu in the back for G Max. Um, let's see how that goes, though, because my Pikachu has Surf. He's the only, that's the only water move I have on this team. So we're just gonna go ahead. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna start off with our pink urchin, just to lead, and then everything else will this. It doesn't matter what order the rest of this is in, uh, because it doesn't matter. It's singles. So that's the we we named everyone on the team too. If you didn't watch the first video, here they are once again. Though on the first video, I had a uh, Rotom Mo, which was um, Saturday. And uh, Saturday is not with us today. All right, the grass type just wasn't cutting it. I had Saturday originally because grass is good against ground type. But if I already have Pikachu with Surf, then I didn't have anything. Once again, I didn't have anything for Steel. So he's gonna lead with the Dug Trio, which is probably a good call on his part. I mean, that's like his hard counter to my squad. Now, is Dug Trio Dug Trio is just a ground type, right? Or is he ground rocket? Let me just double check to make sure there's no typing thing that I'm not 100% sure of. Although that doesn't like matter too entirely much. I just am curious. The boys just ground type as I thought. So we have our Ben Kirchen with hidden ability, electric terrain to start off. And then we're going to lead with uh, some toxic smites. Uh, our Ben Kirchen is straight up a setup mon. So if there's anyone, any of the other challengers that are watching this because i'm going to be battling you next it'd probably be a good idea if um any of the other like challengers started watching other gym leaders um uh, i mean you're getting a big advantage you're seeing my set now of course we are allowed to change our oh crap i use toxic spikes against i didn't mean to i was supposed to use regular spikes okay i need to get my head in because now i just straight up threw spiky girl because i accidentally use uh, toxic spikes when I was supposed to use spikes there. Um, that's a huge misplay on my part. Huge misplay. Yeah, I did not mean to do that. Wait, what? The toxic spikes go multiple times? I thought toxic spikes only went once. What am I? This is a this is a bad start. Oh, you can do toxic spikes more than once. I thought you could only do it once. Holy crap! All right, so we're good. We're good. So now what we're gonna do is let's play this game. Do we want to recover a? Maybe, because here's the thing, he's going to Earthquake more than likely, right? I have Levitate on Microwave here, which could be a play. I could switch here. I might do that. I might switch. I think I'm going to switch to Microwave with Levitate, because he's going to Earthquake again. I mean, he has to. There's no other... Why, why else would he do anything else? So let's go for the... Pokemon can't be switched out right now. Okay. So he has some kind of a, something that's keeping me into play. I'm not a fan of that. I'm just going to go for the spikes. If I live, I don't really care about a memento, I don't think. We're just going to go for the spikes if I do somehow live an earthquake here. He's going to go for a rock tomb. Okay, that's a little different of a move. Probably not a good call on his part because I survived. Now I'm going to get a spikes off. Which I don't understand. So he has life orb. I don't understand. Like, what ability does Doug Trio have? That is keeping me, making me not able to leave. So now he obviously has to go for the Earthquake again. He knows that. Um, do I go for a Spikes or do I want to go for the Memento? I feel like I want to go for the Memento here. Just in case I do somehow live. Which, once again, not likely at all. Now he's going for the Body Slam. This is different plays. I don't know. He's not just going for the clean Earthquake. But maybe he wants to save it for another Mon. That's actually a good call there. So now... Now here's the play. See, so he has this ground type in. I can go, which I think I'm going to go for leg day here. The problem is, is he has stealth rocks and I don't have anything to get rid of the stealth rocks. So I feel like I have to go for leg day here and go for energy ball. The problem is, I don't know how fast a trio is compared to me. I feel like I should be going faster though. So we're going to do this. 
Let's go ahead and hit him with an energy ball. Super effective move. I don't want to bring out the Pikachu just yet. I don't want to... I really want to be the second one to Dynamax here. Yeah, that Stealth Rocks does a lot to, to leg day. So let's hit him with the energy ball. I believe this is going to be our play. And let's see what he does. Let's see if I outspeed. I should outspeed. Galvantula is a fast boy. But he outspeeds me. Wow, that is... Wow, this Doug Trio is very scary. Very, very scary, actually. So now I have to go into Pikachu. Uh, I really, really wanted to do Pikachu last. But I, I don't want to throw this game. And I don't really have anything else I can do. I mean, I could go in with rolling right here and do a fake out but that's it's not gonna be i could do fake out and then spiky shield see what see what he does to that maybe i think i should just go in with the surf though i think i just gotta get i guess gotta get rid of his his problem he has on me right because this i mean this duck trio is a huge problem for me let's just do the let's just try this play let's try this we'll do a fake out first I don't want to do that. I want to go into Pikachu. I want to get rid of this Doug Trio. There's no point in me taking damage on Rolling Rye if I don't have to. So I am just going to uh, G-Max here. As much as I don't want to G-Max yet, I'm going to have to. Which is this A-OK. -okay. We're hitting him with the Max Geyser. Get rid of this Doug Trio. Get him out of my face. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. So I, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. Now, obviously, it is almost expected for the challengers to win, right? I mean, we are gym leaders, and it is the gym leader's job to determine if someone can go up the ranks, right? So gym leaders are meant to be beatable, but it's not supposed to be easy. So if I lose, it's not the end of the world. It's I mean, that's good for him. He is still outspeeding me. Holy crap, Duck Trio is way faster than I once thought. I have no idea. Like, I don't know how I didn't know that Duck Trio is just an insanely fast boy. Now I know this, though. For all the future challengers, that Duck Trio is a huge threat to my team. And I need to get away from him at all costs. Now, here's the problem, though. I did Dynamax before him, which I did not want to do. Now, let's see what he's going to come into next. Let's see if I can get my G-Max Pikachu move off. That would be very... That would be really nice if I could do that. If I could pull that off. All right, here we go. Texas Ranger. <laughs> all right. I like this play. He's bringing out an electric type, knowing that I'm going to go for a, a G-Max move that's electric. See, I can't paralyze him. I like this play. I like this play on him. So I'm just going to go for the Max Geyser again because I do have the rain up. I like this play on his part. Let's see what he does here. He's just going to go for a Boom Burst. Outspeeding me again. And, gee, golly, knocks me out. This guy knows what he's doing. This guy knows exactly what he's doing. And it's scaring me. So, let's see. What's going to be our play? We don't want to bring out our own Nickelback. I believe we just go on the Rolling Ride. We want to hit him with the Fake Out. And, uh, yeah, because I think I think this is the play. Go for the Fake Out. The thing is, though, Spiky Shield doesn't really do much for me. Definitely don't want to go into Microwave right now. So, wait, he did not have a Throat Spray, did he? I don't think his uh, Toxicity had a Throat Spray there. Doesn't look like he did. So we got a shiny, shiny rolling rye. This was a legit, this was awesome, like, when I got him. So, let's see. We're going to go for the fake out turn one. I just, uh, let's see what we do here. Fake out. I wonder what kind of play he's going to go for. Now, I believe if he Dynamaxes, my fake out is not going to do anything, which would be scary. Which is what he's going to do. So my fake out is going to kind of be wasted. I mean, he, he doesn't even get affected by that. He doesn't get flinched, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see what he's going to do here. He's got the G-Max toxicity. All right. Big boy plays. I like this play a lot. I like I like um, Colin's team here. Sarand Dadstorm. Sarandy Dadstorm. I don't know how to say your name, dude. So finally, I go first for once. You can see I have Life Orb now. And Max Darkness. All right. Let's see how this plays. Am I going to live? I'm living that, which is very nice. Now, here's the thing. I don't believe I can get, like, any flinches off on him at all, right? Oh, man. Edgar is barking out there, and I don't like that very much. I don't have... This is, like, my tankiest boy is the problem. And if I spiky shield, I think that's going to be the place to spiky shield this turn. And see what happens. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's hit a spiky shield right here. I know, like, he's still going to hit me, but hopefully not as much. And I don't know if Spiky Shield affects how it affects uh, this. Not enough. He's still going to take me out. 
Okay. Oh, and he got the crit too. All right, good for him. My uh, puppy is barking like a madman in the back and is hurting my feelings that he would be such a bad boy right now. And this game is not looking good for me. I guess I just got to go for a protect here just to try to, like, get rid of his last round of uh, Dynamax. I really wish I would do anything right now to be able to pause this video, though, and go get my puppy. He always um, starts barking at the worst time. I'm just going to keep my, my ears open here. See if he's... He should, I mean, obviously, he's probably barking at nothing, but just in case he's barking at something. Let's see here. So we got a protect going on. He's going for the max strike now, which is apparently his G-Max move. And there we go. This will get rid of his G-Max now. Critical hit again. Wow, does he have some kind of, uh, is that what his held item is? Is going to get him more crits? What is that, King's Rock, I believe? Gets more crits going on. So the rain is finally gone, so now Microwave will have a clean, clean time to play. And this guy, I mean, he played his cards. He played his card very well. So let's see. We're just going to go for our own Boom Burst. Activate our Throat Spray. He's going to go for a Boom Burst, too. He's going to outspeed me. I don't wonder for a speed tide or if he's actually outspeeding me. And I live on one. Oh, boy. I hope it's a speed tie and I go first this time. Because now I have Throat Spray activated. I really, really, really hope I go first this time. Let's see what happens, though. Please let me go first this time. Please, I hope it was a speed tie. Oh, he goes first. No. Oh, no. That is so unfortunate for me. So... Unfortunate, it is down to my final mon. I wanted Pikachu to be here for the final mon, but he's just not going to quite make it. Microwave is here. Microwave is here, and he's ready to go. He's ready to knock some people out cold. Man, oh, man, does that hurt. So let's go ahead and do... We just go... Let's just, the thing with Overheat, the problem with Overheat is the fact that it, um, you know, lowers my special attack after I do it. Uh, but I have to go for an Overheat here. Which means it's going to stick me in overheat. Which is a big problem. I could trick and just take his item. Assuming he's not going to knock me out with Boom Burst. But I don't know if I can take that chance of him not knocking me out with Boom Burst here. I feel like he's just going to knock me out with it. So we're, we just got to go for the overheat. I mean, we have to be stuck into it. There's, you know. If I went for the trick, what am I going to do? Take his potential King's Rock away. He takes my Choice Scarf and the next turn he definitely outspeeds me. Cannot have that, unfortunately. So now my special attack is lowered. And uh, this is looking good for Colin. Not too great for me. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Uh, I was hoping for a better result here. But let's see. Let's just see what else he has to bring. Maybe. I mean, if we've knocked out two of his mons, his next four weren't prepared for this. Let's see. He had no idea what I was bringing, obviously. Tower Master. Is that Duraladon? Oh, wait. He didn't have a Duraladon. Grunty here. So he's hurt by the spikes. Once again, not affected by my toxic spikes at all. Is it because he's a... Oh, wait. The Toxic Spikes aren't even there. What happened? What the heck? What am I missing here? So, we just got to go for Overheats. This is all that we have left to do. And he's going to go for the Protect. Cancel cancel this out, I guess. I'm not sure exactly the Protect. Oh, I guess he doesn't know I'm Choice Scarfed. So, I take that back. Oh, and he has Lefties. Okay. So, good call on him to go for the Protect there. Good call on him. And so, we're just going to keep going for Overheats. This is all we can do left. We ain't got nothing else for us. We're still out speeding. Obviously, we have the Toy Scarf. Hopefully, this gets a burn, maybe, at least. No burn. My special attack is getting lower and lower. And he's going to go for the Psychic, and this is going to hurt a lot. I'm going to live, though. I'm going to live. He has lefties. And uh, this is not looking good for me. It doesn't look like there's any way I have out of this. I wonder... See, Saturdad actually would have would have helped me more here, actually. Saturdad... Would have helped me against that Doug Trio. Would have gave me more than just the Pikachu as an option. So literally this time I switched Saturday out for Microwave because of my issue with Steel types. And then this very game I could have used Saturday in a big way. So we're going to be changing, looking at the team a little bit more. A bit more closely. Colin is our first challenger and he has defeated us. He's going to be taking the win here today. We're going to be seeing what we can do for the remaining challenger. Holy crap, I've been muted. I've been muted. All right, guys. Today we're playing against Avocado Spoon. For the electric gym, and I did have an introduction of uh, our team team choices, but that's okay because this is the beginning of the thing. I'm glad I checked and seen that uh, my mic was muted before I did this whole game with a muted mic. That would have been very embarrassing. So this Toxapex is definitely definitely going to be setting up for sure. So his name is He Protect. That's lit. I'm going to go for my three spikes this game with uh, Pink Kirchen. That's how we roll, aka Spiky Girl. Yeah, he's going to go for his Toxic Spikes, which uh, kind of sucks. 
But that's uh, that's okay. That is just a okay. Spiky girl's gonna set in our own spikes. This is gonna be a good. Here's the problem, though. Here's the problem. He might have uh, a mon that can like move all my hazards away. I don't have anything to get rid of all of his hazards. Uh, I don't normally play singles all that often. I normally just play uh, doubles. And their spikes and stealth rocks and all that stuff aren't usually a, th a big deal, like a big threat in doubles from what I've played anyway. So this is definitely going to be boring. He's definitely like he definitely has the advantage here though because he is making me like lose my electric surge right now. Uh, and, wow! And he got that poison off on the first first move. Okay, so well played on his part. Uh, what I can do though is I can switch out uh, Spiky Girl here. I just dropped my Joy-Con. He can he can switch or I can switch out and get electric surge again here in a little bit. Did I I did three, right? Oops, wrong. Yeah, I did three. So now I'm gonna do my toxic spikes. And let's see here. Baneful bunker. Okay, that's fine by me if he does a baneful bunker. I literally don't have a move that can even hurt him at all. So now we can do our two toxic spikes and then we can recover and then we can swap out. And just hope he doesn't crit us. I think that's gonna be the play here. Cause he is gonna be getting this residual damage with that poison. I don't like that, but that is A-OK. -okay. So we're going to get our second Toxic Spike. And we're fully set up right now, which is nice. I do have a Memento, but I don't use Memento against a Toxapex just because he's not really going to be going for too many attacks. He's more of a defensive mon, like a bulky boy. And I don't really want to deal with that. So let's see what we can do here. And while we're doing that, I'm going to check. I just want to check one thing. Uh, let me get my Pokedex out here. Let's see here. Yeah, poison is super effective against grass, not grass super effective against poison. I just wanted to double check that before I sent out uh, Saturdad. So here we go. This time, this time around, we're just going to be going for the recover, and uh, we should be good to go. We can recover, swap out, because our electric surge is gone, and then we can go into our shiny, our shiny boy, Rolling Rye, aka the Steel type Togedemaru. So we're going to hit the recover here. That way, uh, I want to keep this uh, Pinkurchin alive for as long as I can. It's just nice because he has the hidden ability Electric Surge. And then, if I'm not mistaken, since Togedemaru is a Steel type, he will not be poisoned. So this would be a good trade-in for me. And then I can switch right back into Spiky Girl, get another, another Electric Surge up. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll be in good condition. So actually, I'm going to go for another recover here because he's not able to do anything else. And I just want to get a free recover. And possibly even waste more of his Baneful Bunkers. Or waste whatever else he has. Because I'm obviously surviving. So at this point, I'm just going to... I'm playing the, the PP game here. Let's see uh, who has more PP. So I'm just going to go for another recover. Might as well. Before I switch out. The only thing is, I really don't want him to switch here. Okay, good. I don't want him to switch before I do. Because then he'll have the advantage on a hit. So now this turn, he's definitely going to be going for a Baneful Bunker. So now I am going to swap... I'm going to get a free swap into Togedemaru. This is going to be the play right here. So let's see that go down. All right, so Spiky Girl, obviously hurt by poison. I'm sorry about leaving you poison for so long. So now we're going to bring in Rolling Rye. And this should be good. We'll have a fake out because he's going to go for a Baneful Bunker right here, which means he will not Baneful Bunker the next fake out. Or I guess he could, but not likely, right? So let's see how, let's see how he does this. Maybe he'll switch out the same time I switch out. Let's see, though. But although I am fully set up right now, the only thing I don't have going for me is the Electric Surge anymore, but that's A-OK. -okay. We, uh, we're obviously, our Pink, pink Kirchen is very much alive and doing well. So, I hope that he Baneful Bunkers here so he doesn't have another one. We've got a Shiny Rolling Rye, which is sick, nasty. Oh, he goes for the Poison Jab. Now, that, that kind of hurts because now he's going to Baneful Bunker, which is annoying because... Ah oh, man, I'm just gonna switch. I'm just gonna switch out. I'm not even gonna. There's no point in me going for a hit because he's just gonna baneful bunker here, and I don't want. I don't want to fake out into a baneful bunker. So that's what I'm gonna do. Switch back out. Get my electric surge again. I'm already poisoned, so I'm not taking any damage at all. He's gonna baneful bunker here. Electric current right across. He did baneful bunker, so there we go. But it failed. So now what we're going to do is let's go into Toxtricity because Baneful Bunker won't be able to stop my Boom Burst. Or uh, Overdrive, actually. So let's go ahead and do that, right? If I'm not mistaken, Baneful Bunker only do hurts if it's uh, an actual physical move, if I'm not mistaken. So I should be good to switch into Nickelback. 
have electric surge popped. That'd be really good for me. Oh, and he actually withdraws too. Spiky metal. Okay. So not as good of a move for my toxicity anymore. So let's see here. What do we do against this? This Ferrothorn is definitely going to be an issue for me because I don't have much. I don't have much I can do against him. Right? I don't have much. A lot. Of, see, that's what I'm saying. Like this. Here's the thing though. This Ferrothorn is a problem, and those, which is why I like Microwave, Rotom, uh, Rotom Heat. But that Rhydon is even more of a problem. You know what I'm saying? So I think for this turn, what I'm going to do, I want to switch out Toxicity because he is a Steel type. And he's a grass type. And uh, I think we're going to go into... Edgar's here crying. He cries every time I play. You guys know the drill with him. I think we'll switch over to leg day here. And then we can just go for some sticky web setups. Hey, Edgar. I'm just going to pet him so he'll stop growling. He literally only growls... Guys, I'm telling you. Every po if you've seen all my Pokemon videos and you only watch the Pokemon videos, you would know that literally he growls every time I try to record a Pokemon video. Now, when I record Call of Duty, he does not care. But when it comes to this, he's a he's not a fan of it at all. So I'm going to hit him with uh, Sticky Web first. And I don't know how many Sticky Webs I can do, so I'm just going to do one. And then let's see what we let's see what we got going on here. So he's got the spikes now, so we're, we're both pretty well set up. Now, here's the problem with setting up a Sticky Web, is if he withdraws and comes back his ferrothorn is going to be yeah he's dropping the speed right now if he has gyro ball which i'm obviously very certain that he does it is going to hurt a lot for me edgar don't bite at me you turd this little boy's trying to bite me so we're just gonna hit him with the bug buzz this may lower the special defense that would be nice let's hit him with the bug buzz and let's just see what happens with that so we're obviously out speeding Galvantula is a big boy. Oh, Bug Buzz does way more damage than I thought it was going to do. So that's nice. It did not lower special defense, though, which kind of sucks. That would have been nice if I got a special defense lowered here. But we'll see. Edgar, stop biting at me, I said. The only problem is, is if he hits off a Gyro Ball and I don't knock him out, my Galvantula is like more likely going to go down. But I feel like I just got to do what I got to do. I just got to hit this Bug Buzz off. So, Edgar, I need you to just behave, bub. Let daddy play. Let daddy play as a gym leader, okay? Most gym leaders don't have a distraction. Is that going to knock? Yes, it does. All right. Now, this is looking good for me. That knocks out the Ferrothorn, which is a big threat. Big threat to my team. So, at this point, I'm feeling very good. I can go back to Pinkurchin, set up uh, another Electric Surge. Edgar, go. You got to go, bub. No more distractions, okay? Come on. Out. 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 Ooh, the RK9. Shiny RK9. Very snazzy. It is a... Uh, what is it? Japanese... Or whatever language that is. So this guy, uh, he's, he don't play around. But he, he just walked into my trap of a ton of stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to Volt Switch. But who would we Volt Switch into? I guess we could Volt Switch into Spiky Girl here. Because Spiky Girl can hopefully take a hit. And then I'll get another Electric Surge up. I think that's going to be the play. So we're going to do Volt Switch. Edgar, I, need, I know, bub. You only want to play when I... Oh, Volt Switch actually did a ton of damage right there, too. That's actually a really good place for me. So now I'm going to go to the Spiky Girl here, because if I lose Spiky Girl, that's fine. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to get Electric Surge. Then if I lose him, I can go over to Rolling Rye. I can get a Fake Out off, and then I can just finish him with the Zing Zap. With this Electric Surge play. So this is going to be... This is looking good for me, especially because he has this... That Sneaky Web play on my, hat, on my behalf was a really good play for me. Really good play on my part. So Spiky Girl is going to go down, which, like I said, is fine. So, and he's going to take some recoil damage, too, from that. So, that's even better for me. So, now we're going to go over to Rolling Rye, and we're going to hit him with the Fake Out. And then we're going to hit him with the Zing Zap, if, uh, if he lives. If he lives uh, a Fake Out here, which I don't know that he will. We'll hit him with the Zing Zap. And then here's our own Shiny. Our own Shiny Boy, called by yours truly, able to, able to do some nasty things with this. So, let's hit him with the Fake Out, see if he has Protect or not. He does not, or if he, I mean, if he has Protect, he's not using it. So, Fake Out to get the knockout there. So, looking really good for me. Now, let's see what he's going to bring out. I feel like a Rhydon's going to come out to play, in which case, I have Saturdad. And uh, my Saturdad is going to do some nasty damage to a Rhydon, I think, right? Because Rhydon is just ground type, right? So, Rhydon is coming out. Big, oh, man, that spike hurts. Poison and the Sticky Web. I mean, man, that's got to be annoying. Man, that's 
ah, I honestly just like feel bad for doing that. Like that's gotta be so annoying. So he's rock and ground. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is, I just we can spiky shield this first turn just to see what he does, and it would damage him as well. Let's go for a spiky shield first before we go for the iron head. Let's just see what he has in store. What he had planned for us. He's gonna go for the earthquake, which is blocked, thankfully. Not gonna do damage though. So this time I'm gonna go for the iron head, which is gonna be super effective, and hopefully flinch. This is this game is looking good for us right now. An iron head flinch would be the cherry on top. I would really truly love this to flinch, or just get the knockout. Not the knockout, please flinch. Not gonna flinch. That that hurts really bad. The hammer arm comes down and finishes me off strong. Not a fan of that, unfortunately. I do have iron barbs. I forgot I had iron barbs. Dude, I forgot about my own team. Let's go, dude. So here's what we're going to do now. I literally only brought Rotomel for that ride on. Didn't even need it. Now I'm going to go in with Rotomel because I have the electric seed. And we are going to we're gonna do some really nasty things right here, guys. This is going to be dangerous for this opponent. Dangerous plays right here for the opponent. He sends out Heat Protect again. So, here's the problem with Heat Protect is he is going to hurt my feelings with the Poison Jab, I feel like. Um, so, let's get my Electric Seed to pop. And then, can a Substitute take a Poison Jab? I don't think it can. I don't think it can. But I'm going to try... Oh, man. I, a Thunderbolt's not going to knock him out. It could paralyze him. But that's just like kind of playing for luck. I'm going to go for the, the Substitute first. Let's see a substitute and see if either he goes for a Baneful Bunker instead of Poison Jab. That would be really nice. Oh, he goes for the Recover. So this is good, actually. Now we have a substitute up. Edgar, <laughs> literally, he only ever wants this much attention. Oh, I know what it is. He, he, wants to, he wants some dinner, guys. He wants some dinner. All right, Edgar, sit down. Sit down, Bubba. You be a good boy and sit down for me, okay? We're going to nasty plot here. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Now wait right there, okay? Wait for me to finish this game, Big Bub, and we'll take care of you. Right now, Daddy's trying to be a gym leader. So we got the Nasty Plot set up, which is really dangerous for him. We have Special Attack, Rose, Sharply, and we have the Electric Seed. The Electric Seed popped, right? I wasn't quite paying attention. Does this... is faded. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was going to be faded or not because the Electric Seed. Wait, did my Electric Seed even pop? I wasn't even paying attention because this dog. My Electric Seed did pop. Okay, whew. I was going to say, what the heck? So that's fine, though. We're going to hit him with a Thunderbolt and just hope that this does the trick. Is this going to do enough, though? I really hope it does. I really hope this does enough. He's going to Baneful Bunker here. Okay. Well, I should have... You know, honestly, I should have expected the Baneful Bunker. I should have went for another substitute. Uh, that's okay, though. That's okay. He cannot go for another Baneful Bunker. So what I'll do is Thunderbolt here, and if I live, then I can substitute. I should have substituted right there, actually, I, because I know he was going to go for a Baneful Bunker. Or I was... I had a high suspicion. Please, let's not come out. I mean, there we go. The, the Nasty Plot is a dirty move. Saturday here. I mean, he came in clutch for this team right now. Dude, I mean, this this game has been a, a good game, I would say, so far for me. For the Electric Gym Leader. Flying Apple coming in hot. So what is this? A Grass Dragon type, if I am not mistaken? So let's see. He's caught in the Sticky Web. He is a... I believe he's a Grass Dragon type. He is indeed a Grass Dragon type. So what we're going to do here is probably go for another Substitute, because I'll be going first. Just so we can be behind the Substitute. Oh, he goes for the Protect, so really good play. Really lucky play for me to go for the Substitute. I am, I mean, I'm over here just petting, playing, playing Tug of War with Edgar right now. If you guys can't, if I'm like making some weird movements, you're like, what is he doing? So here's the play that I want to go for the Thunderbolt. I don't want to go for the Leaf Storm just because I know it does more damage, but I want to hit the Paralyze on him, and I don't want my Special Attack to be lower just yet. So he's down to two Mons left. If this Thunderbolt gets a Paralyze, that would be really nice for me. Especially if he gets full paired after it. So full para would be super clutch right now. Not quite going to happen though. Outrage. Okay, so Outrage is good for him. I do have a plus one defense though. Substitute faded. Yes, yes it did. So at this point, is a Thunderbolt going to take him out? I feel like it's going to get... If it doesn't take him out, it's going to be very close. But it should just take him out right here. Because now I know he's stuck in an Outrage. So I don't have to worry about him protecting. And it does just knock him out. That nasty plus sat her dad. It was it was just the move to make. Imagine, guys, if this whole video, if my mic was muted after making some good plays like this. That would have been embarrassing. I'm glad that it it unmuted. So 
Here we go. Avocado Spoon coming in with his clutch, his final mon. I bet this is going to be a G-Max Orb Beetle. Is it a shiny? A shiny G-Max Orb Beetle? Named it Orbits? Dude, Sticky Webs also came in clutch. Leg Day, aka my Galvantula, was very nice. So, Bug Psychic type. Uh, at this point, I'm not going to switch out Saturday just because... I mean, he's already... You know, I might as well just sack him off and just get as much Thunderbolt damage as I can. He's not even going to Dynamax. So, if he's not going to Dynamax, I'm not. But I never said that he couldn't Dynamax. I did tell him it was going to be a singles battle. I never said no Dynamaxing was allowed. But maybe he just wanted to do this challenge without Dynamaxing. But uh, regardless, we did get our first victory. I don't know if this is uh, with my first video against uh, Sarande, Sarande Dadstorm. I don't know if I'm going to put this in... Uh, both battles in one video you guys obviously will know or from to do two different videos but regardless thank you guys for stopping by this has been the electric type gym leader rudy patootie and i'll see you guys all later i'm gonna go feed edgar right now goodbye